injection of pace from Dennis Coates, who suddenly produced a 66-second lap after two earlier 69-second laps. There, wearing 13 is Mickey Morris on the inside. But uh, wearing 18, Tony Stalings with a lot of bounce on the shoulder of Ian Gilmore in second. But it's uh, a gutty effort from Dennis Coates as he drives on now, opening up a gap of about five metres. Tony Stainings moves into second, sensing that Coates wants to get away and set a fast time, and he's moving away from them now. And one wonders what sort of time this might have been if he can sustain this sort of uh, pressure. Leading this field, Tony hadn't fallen Patrick right on that first lap. And it really is opening up a gap. And, and Staining stutters before that hurdle, and there, that loses him three or four yards. Basically, these hurdles break the rhythm of the athlete, but the good steeplechaser learns to negotiate them in rhythm over that 12-foot uh, water jump, one foot in the water, one foot out, using the solid barrier as a way to pivot across. There's Mickey Morris just gone out of picture there. And the tired of men dropping into the water. But coming up with two laps to go, Dennis Coates leading from Tony Stainings by about seven or eight yards with Ian Gilmore in third and Peter Griffiths in fourth. Perhaps slowing a little bit, and I wonder if Stainings senses it. It's Stainings that doesn't really have the technique of finding an attacking run at each of the barriers, which doesn't break his rhythm and his stride. Let's see how he can do on this one. There's the staccato stride pattern. He's losing a little, and that shows in the gap between him and the man that's leading Dennis Coates. Coates still driving on, you see him stretch his legs, whereas Staining tends to reduce his stride length in order to make and negotiate the barrier. So Dennis Coates for Gateshead. Our national record holder setting a very respectable time despite that fall and coming up now with a little over a lap to go. Member of... Uh, the most famous of all clubs in terms of middle and long distance running, road running and cross country running. Tony Staining, there's going to be a little battle boil up for second and third place, I sense, as they get the bell. Dennis Coates has a lead of about 12 minutes, 8.26 at the bell, Tony, 7.26 at the bell, then Tony Stainings, and then dropping back just a little bit, Ian Gilmore, and I think that uh, Peter Griffith senses that there's a place there. Yes, he's stolen past Ian Gilmore and uh, creeps up into second. Tony Staining's chasing, and, uh, but Peter Griffiths is coming onto his shoulder, and the gap has closed between the second man, Tony Staining's, and Dennis Coates in the lead. And he stuttered at that one, and suddenly that gap has been reduced to about seven metres, with 200 metres to go. Staining's coming hard. Has a lot of sprint finisher stainings, and I, he senses that uh, Coates is uh, losing a little bit of steam, and there's now only about four or five metres. Tremendous race, a courageous effort from Coates, but what a good run by Stainings as he comes fast. He really launches himself, loses another two strides. He attacked the hurdle, lost it, regained his cadence again, and sneaks a win from Dennis Coates. Fine run by both these men, Peter Griffiths in third. Tony Stainings, 8.30 plus, but that's a very fine run from Tony Stainings, but he owes so much to Dennis Coates, who fell in the first lap, picked himself up, picked the pace up, made it respectable, almost made it his own, but lost it with 150 metres to go.